Today is a very sad day in the world of football because we learn the passing of two football players. One is a former football player, Kevin Campbell, an Arsenal legend, and another one is a current football player. He plays for Millwall, 26 years old, Sarkic. Rest in peace, brothers. Rest in peace. So this video is going to be very sad, low energy. We have to report on what is go going on in the world of football right now. We have so much to cover. We have the Euros. We have Copa America coming. But this news really kind of upset everybody in the football community. Let, uh, let's start by Amadou Onana. A few days ago, we learned that Arsenal are trying to push and get him because Thomas Party is going to Saudi Arabia. And let's be honest, Thomas Party is injury prone and you can't have your player every single season for half of the season or less than that. So I think it was uh, time for Arsenal to let him go. And they were trying to get Onana, which is like scary to think a midfield of Amadou Onana and Declan Rice. What a combination that is going to be. But this morning, we got to report that Aston Villa actually are the team who are trying to get the deal. Aston Villa also are in the Champions League. I doubt a little bit about Aston Villa because they have financial issues. They have to sell. They've, they've already sold David... Uh, um, Luis, okay, to Juventus. They are trying to sell Duran to Chelsea. Um, so I don't know where the money is going to come from to buy Onana, who is going to cost about 60 to 70 million. So let's keep an eye open on this one and see what is going to happen. But whoever is going to get Onana is going to get a hell of a player here. Moving on, 31 years old, been appointed as a Brighton manager. This guy, Fabian, is very young, but very good coach. Uh, I think St. Paul, or whatever how the club he's coming from, Germany, is called. Uh, he got them promoted. And if you look at his, his way of coaching, it's just modern kind of uh, manager and we all know that um, Brighton take their job seriously when it comes to recruiting players and recruiting managers they don't miss often in the last few years so he signed a contract until 2027 announcement is going to be done today or by the time you watch this, this video it could be already announced so you let me know what do you think about this new manager in the Premier League? He's from uh, Germany. I think yeah, he's, he, he also is an American. I think he's half-half or something like that, what I read about him. So I'll be supporting him um, as an American. So let, uh, let's hope that it's going to be successful and not like Jesse Marsh or something. Uh, yeah. Now it looks like people are going for young, enthusiastic, new ideas, managers, instead of going to dinosaurs. Good luck. Arsenal asked for, for Artem. Artem Dobik. Remember him? From Girona. Very, very good striker in the La Liga. He really, really killed it last season. And Arsenal are looking for a target man. They hoped to sign Sesco. It didn't happen. Uh, they tried Tony, but Tony it looks like it's going to be too expensive. 80 million for somebody who hasn't done that much lately. I don't think that price is right. And uh, Osimen is going to be too expensive. I don't even know what is the release clause or the price that Arsenal need to pay for for Artem. So the good news for the Gunners is that they are searching for a different profile. 
they were talking also about um dominic salanke so if you look at the profile that they are chasing now is exactly what they need they don't need another profile like gabriel jesus or kai Havert because they are not like proper proper target men arsenal needs somebody who can come up with a goal from nowhere just like Haaland. okay they have so many players in in the in the almost the same kind of profile so now it's time for them to look for a proper target man let's wait and see what's going to happen on this one chelsea estival william had his medical yesterday in brazil on friday the deal is gonna be around 60 million some people say 65 million but you know with this kind of fee you don't know exactly how much you're gonna pay but just put it in the bracket of 60 to 65 million right so this is from fabricio romano he talked about 54.9 million so 33.8 million guaranteed fee in front, 16.9 million in easy add-ons and 4.2 million in difficult add-ons. Like if he wins the Ballon d'Or or the Champions League or something like that. So it, uh, it's going to be announced very soon. I don't have any problem if the player is going to be a hit for Chelsea Football Club. But I just hope that we can keep him in the first team and not send him in a stupid loan. The deal is going to be until 2032. The plan is to keep him in the first team. That is good to hear because I'm sick and tired of not playing youth. Going for expensive, overrated, hyped players that don't bring anything in the team. People like Raheem Sterling and... And Obama Young and people like that. It's time to give a chance to the youth. Okay, Manchester United. They paid 80 million on Harry Maguire years ago. So that set a precedent. Now every door they will be knocking for a defender. They will say, hey, my defender is better than Harry Maguire. He's the benchmark. We're not going to accept anything less than the price that you pay on Harry Maguire. Manchester United um, submitted an offer of between 35 to 40 million. That was immediately rejected for um, breath weight from Everton. I think this deal is going to be very expensive because in my humble opinion, breath weight is better than Harry Maguire. And anybody better than Harry Maguire deserve more money than Harry Maguire. <laughs> so they are just like Chelsea. Chelsea will spend crazy amount of money on an, every average player out there. So the problem now, they created a precedent. Everywhere they go, they're going to ask crazy money for even squad players. So deal with it, Manchester United. Deal with it. And they need really a centre back or few of them because it, it's it, they are struggling. A lot of injuries, aging, aging defenders, aging squad. It's just shambolic. Without too many injuries last season, I think they were going to fight for the Champions League spot. Rhys Nelson, remember him? No, Arsenal through and through. And he, Arsenal are trying to ship him out. Uh, they got some offers or some interest from overseas and even in England. I think this guy is quality in a team that will trust him week in, week out. You don't have to, st to stay on the bench all the time just because it's Arsenal. If you care about your own career, I think... He should go somewhere, even in the so-called lower team. Try to rebuild your career because you are you are more than than good enough to be in a very good mid-table kind of level in the Premier League or oh, Champions League teams around Europe. Why not? Risk Nelson. Some players need to think about themselves. 
But I don't know if the salary at Arsenal is good and what he's been offered from other teams is it's not good. And he's like, ah, I'm going to stay here for prestige and money. And my career, I don't care about it. Arojo from Barcelona. Bayern Munich been submitted some offers lately, but Barcelona said, no, 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 we're not going to sell him. What a defender he is. What a centre-back. So we have to see if Barcelona at some point will accept the bid because of their financial issues. But if Bayern Munich managed to get this guy, I think Vincent Company is going to fight for, uh, for the Bundesliga. He's going to fight with Zabi, Zabi Alonso. And I would like to see Vincent Company win, you know, smash Alonso and win, win the Bundesliga. So it can, you know, calm things down a little bit because he's been criticized a lot, you know. He just got relegated with uh, Burnley. He's a black man. Uh, you know, when you're a black man, the situation gets even worse. People, people want to you to fail so they can say i told you so so i want vincent company to do good but i don't understand why they are trying to sell pretty much everybody upa minkano uh delete uh and even kim min jay kim min jay that they bought from napoli i think he's still a very good center back but everybody pretty much didn't perform under thomas Tuchel for one reason or another i wait and see what's gonna happen Okay, people, so again, rest in peace, our brothers, um, Kevin Campbell and Sarkic. Uh, be nice to each other, man. Life is too short to dwell on fight on social media, insult and evil, because we are all destined to die one day. Just, it doesn't matter, man. Why are you so angry all the time, attacking people for no reason on social media? For their own ideas this is my page on twitter you can follow me i will follow you back and please check out on some other videos on the green turf youtube channel gfc youtube channel and other little channels that we have we do watch alongs call in shows almost every single day all the links in the description down below just click and check on all our activities and you won't be disappointed, I hope. You can see me, I can see you. We can have a conversation. Oh, my calling shows are like the phone open for everybody. No super chat ask, no membership ask or anything. It's free, it's for the people. So why not give me a chance?